In this demo, I will show you the steps required to set artwork as an overprint if it is vector art that has defaulted to being a knockout. I will also show you how to test your artwork using the separations preview panel. If you wish to follow along with this demo, you need to create a new InDesign document and then do your best to recreate the sample as shown here. It's important to note that the top example, I've made two circles, so I made this whole left column and then I just duplicated it for the right. So the, the left and right columns are the same right now. The circles that are in the top spot are 100% magenta and 100% yellow. These circles can be cyan, magenta, or yellow, but they need to be 100% cyan, 100% magenta, and or 100% yellow. The bottom circles are spot colors. If you look at the swatches panel, I saved a spot teal color and a spot purple color. The colors in the middle can be any colors that you want as long as they are CMYK process colors. So in my case, I did save the swatches, but notice that they're CMYK process. They are not spot colors. So first and foremost, when you create vector art in InDesign, by default, it will be set to a knockout. You can view the way that your artwork will print using the separations preview panel. Go to the window menu and go to output and open both the attributes panel and the separations preview panel. When you are viewing separation preview and it's set to off, you're getting kind of a false illusion to the way that your artwork will print. We'll call this our working mode, but if you want to switch and see what your artwork will actually look like when printing, you should change the view from off to separations. Now, right now our artwork is all set to knock out, so there really wasn't much change other than our frame edges disappeared to give us a clearer look of our artwork. You can use the separations preview panel to see what colors you're printing with, so we can confirm that if we turn all of the colors off, except for purple where the purple prints, we can see where the teal prints. If we had black printing, we could see where black prints, etc. Um, we can also use it to see if our artwork is printing as a knockout. And so we know that we formatted these circles as complete circles. If I select the magenta circle, it is a full circle, not a half moon shape. But when I look at the separations preview panel, if I turn off all of the colors except for magenta, and I'm only looking at the top row example right now, you can see that it's only printing the half moon shape. Everywhere that the yellow circle sits on top is actually being what's called a knockout. It's knocked out and it's not printing magenta so that when I print the yellow circle, the yellow prints right on the unprinted white paper so that it ends up being bright yellow. If I was to print magenta and then print yellow on top, that would affect the yellow's ability to look yellow. It would be magenta and yellow combined, which would be like a reddish orange color. So let's take a look at that. So the left hand column, let's leave all of them alone. They're going to stay and be a knockout. On the right hand side, I'd like you to select both of the circles and go to your attributes panel and change your overprint setting to be an overprint fill. Immediately, because our separation preview panel is turned on, you can now see a difference between the left-hand circles and the right-hand circles. Now we are printing magenta and then printing yellow right over the top of the magenta. And if I turn off all of the ink colors, except for magenta and yellow, I can toggle, and again, only look at the top row for now, I can toggle magenta uh, yellow off, so we're only seeing magenta. And on the left, I still have that knockout, but on the right, I am printing an entire circle of magenta, plus I'm printing an entire circle of yellow. And then visually, when I turn them both on, whoops, you can see where they overlap, they're going to create a bonus color. Turn all of the colors on your separations preview back on, and then turn your separations to off. Convert both the second and the third examples to be an overprint. So select the circle, choose overprint. Select the circles, choose overprint. 
Now, turn your separations preview back to on, and we're going to focus on this bottom row where the spot colors are. Change from off to separations. I guess my overprint didn't stick. Okay. So when I look at the bottom row, I now see that it appears, without checking via my separations preview panel, I have a knockout on the left, but now I have an overprint on the right. And we can confirm that by turning off all the colors except for our two spot colors. And then I can toggle between them. So if I turn purple off, I can see on the left, I have to knock out the teal to be able to print the purple spot color on the unprinted white paper. And on the right, I'm gonna print an entire circle of teal. And when I print the purple over the top, I end up getting this nice shade of dark blue where the colors overlap. So now I've created three colors to design with. And we know that when we print with spot colors, we're gonna buy that color ink. So if I'm limited to two spot colors in a design, I could overprint them to create a third color. Turn all of your colors back on. Now let's look at the middle column. The middle column is where you have to be careful. If we select the circles on the right hand side, I can confirm that I have set the artwork to overprint fill. But it doesn't look like our CMYK example or our spot colors example. You need to be careful when you're setting process colors to overprint because if I look at the value of this color, it has some cyan, some magenta, some yellow, and some black. And then if I look at the orange, it has some magenta and some yellow. When you, let's do another example, I'm gonna make another page. When you try to overprint the same color, so for this example, I'm going to use cyan because I think it'll be easy to understand. So create two cyan circles and change the tints to let's say a 50% tint and a 30% tint. We could logically say that if I overprint 30% and 50%, where it overlaps, it should be 80%. However, when you select those colors and choose overprint, nothing happens. Doesn't matter which color is in the foreground or the background, it will not overprint on itself because this prints as one printing plate. So you can't print the first color and then overprint the second color. So in this case, if I really wanted to overlap these colors, I would have to maybe use effects. Where's the effects panel? And change the blending mode to multiply. And I would have to go another route to make the same colors appear to overprint. I cannot use the overprint fill option, it will not work. So if we go back to our first page, when you have a color that is also contained in the other color it's overlapping, is it cannot overprint. But sometimes, so let's move the orange to the foreground, depending on which color is more dominant or darker, you can change the order of the colors to be able to overprint. So the first color would put down the heavier amount of ink and then the second color would come back with colors that maybe aren't as present or present in a different way. And so it is easier to use overprinting with spot colors. It's not impossible to use them with, with process colors, but you have to double check that the colors that you're using will actually create an overprint because you could be doing everything right and setting your file up perfectly and then when you go to test it in the separations preview panel the color that you are overprinting with will not overprint.